get cooking, cooking, cooking with Kathy. Good morning and welcome back everybody. Well, you know, we all should be eating more fruit, but sometimes it's so hard to get those kids to, to eat fruit. I've got the perfect solution, a quick, easy, and delicious fruit dip. It actually makes fruit look more like a dessert. So you can start them on the fruit with this dip and then maybe slowly take the dip away. You know what I'm talking about. So this is my one of my family's favorite, favorite dips. Um, recipe comes to me actually for, from one of my mom's good friends, Susan Reynolds. So maybe she's watching or she'll watch online. Um, so, Suze, this goes out to you. She's been making this fruit dip for years, bringing it to parties, and uh, my family kind of borrowed the recipe. So, we're starting out with one eight-ounce block of softened cream cheese. You know how somebody always gets assigned to bring that same dish that people love to the party? So, well, this was the this was the, the dip that Su Susan Reynolds always gets assigned to bring. Okay, so one eight-ounce block of softened cream cheese, about a quarter cup of powdered sugar, then here comes the really fun part. We're using one seven ounce container of marshmallow, goodness, marshmallow cream. You know, the stuff you put on those nut or butter sandwiches and some people make fudge with it. The hardest part about this recipe, getting all that marshmallow out of the jar. But just a, a few quick, simple ingredients. In fact, we were at a party last night and um, it was a cross country party and there was tons of fruit out. And you know, when you put fruit out for dessert, instead of other goodies, people tend to eat the fruit, and especially if it's got a nice dip for it. So I know this dip is a little bit naughty and a little bit sweet, but if it's getting kids to try different fruits and eat more fruit, then I say, why not? So again, a seven ounce container of marshmallow cream, quarter cup of powdered sugar, and that cream cheese. Now I'm gonna beat that together. It's gonna be sticky and, and thick and a wonderful dip. And a couple of things I'm going to add to it. I've got a tablespoon of fresh orange juice. So this is just an orange that we squeeze a little of the juice. We're using some of that orange right on our fruit platter. And then to just kind of pump up the flavor of this, give it a little added flavor, we're going to add a little bit of orange zest. Just that little something something in here. This fruit goes, this dip goes great with, you know, all your favorite fruits strawberries, bananas, melon, pineapple. So put a pretty fruit platter together or pick up one and then throw this dip together. You can certainly make this dip ahead of time. This is a good, you know, day or two ahead of time. If you want to get that out of the way, go for it. Keep it in the refrigerator. I'm going to finish mixing that together. Get all the lumps out. It's just really nummy. Really, really good. Hey, want to uh, get a plug in for my show. We'll see you here after Good Day Wisconsin. We're doing some fun stuff. Today's show is all about, you know, showing you how to do a whole bunch of different things. Boring chicken breasts, you know. There's only so many ways you can make chicken. Well, have you mastered the art of stuffing chicken breasts? It's so easy. It's so easy. Once you get in the hang of it, we're going to make some broccoli cheese stuffed chicken breasts. So delicious and great way to really jazz up ordinary chicken breasts if you do this method. It's quick and easy. Plus, we're going to make a homemade cheese sauce. Don't have box macaroni and cheese, or you're just craving a wonderful cheese sauce for vegetables. I'll show you how to make a homemade cheese sauce, put it together in minutes, and it's really, really yummy. Give me that zester back. One second, Ann. Throw a little bit of that zest right on top just to garnish it up. So there you go. Recipes on our website. And I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Sunday Good Day Wisconsin. I've got the perfect game day recipe. I'm going to make a cheesy brat stew. Oh, man, does that sound good or what? We'll be back. Stay with us.